Hi there, I hope you are good. Thanks for tuning in to a brand new video here on the Dart Counter YouTube channel. Today's video is all about how to play the classic darts game called Cricket. It's the fifth video in the series Darts Tips for Beginners. The links to the other four videos are in the description below, so take a look if you like. It's okay that your back heel raises a little bit off the ground. Make sure you're still putting a little bit of weight on it to keep your body balanced. While every regular dart has got four parts, the flight, the shaft, the barrel, and the point. The main part where you want to hold the dart is the barrel. Normally the perfect way to balance your throw is to align your shoulder, your elbow and your hand into a 90 degree angle. So when you're at the end of the leg and you got for instance like 20 points left, you can't just hit the 20, no you have to hit the double 10. Or of course when you miss the double 10, the 10 and then the double 5 or something. Before I'm gonna start today I would like to take you along to the little subscribe button underneath this video because I saw that a whopping 82.6% of you guys who are watching these videos are not subscribed. It would mean a lot to me if you'd subscribe to this channel. It's totally free and you get to see nice tips and tricks about darts every week. So enough said, here we go. So in today's video I will show you the most played game in darts, except for of course the 501 game. And this game is called Cricket. In the next few minutes I will tell you exactly how it works. I'm pretty sure you're familiar with the regular dart scoreboard, it looks something like this. Now you always see the numbers 20 to 15 and the bull on there. For everyone who just plays the classic 501 game it might be a bit confusing, because what are those numbers doing there? Now this is all about the Cricket game. And unlike the 501 game, you don't win when your score is on zero first, but you win when you gain the most points. Now how does this work? So I will use the in-game Cricket of the Dart Counter app so I can visually show you how the game works. The object for a player is to hit each number and the bull three times. Doubles count as two hits and triples of course as three. The outer bull counts as one and the inner bull counts as two. Now the first player to hit a number three times owns that number and it's said to be opened. Further hits on the opened number scores that number of points until the opponent also hits that number three times and closes it. From that moment on that number is removed from play. So a little example, I've hit the 20 three times but my opponent hasn't and I throw towards the 20 in my turn and hit it two times then I score 40 points. And as I said earlier, the double ring scores two times the numbers value and of course the treble ring scores three times the numbers value, just like in a classic 501 game. Well, this goes on for a little while, both players hitting their numbers and scoring points. Now what do you have to do to win the game? Once a player has opened or closed all the numbers and the bull and has equal or more points than the opponent, he wins. Those were the basic rules of cricket, but there's a little addition to it. Because when you play cricket with two players, you just play the standard cricket. But when you play this game with three players or more, you play Cricket Cutthroat. It's actually pretty similar to the classic Cricket, but with two very important differences. When you hit a number that you've opened, the points you earn go to all the opponents who haven't closed that number yet. So any player who hasn't hit that number three times gets your points. And at the end, you might have expected this, the player with the lowest amount of points wins. So please leave a little thumbs up if you enjoyed watching this tutorial for Cricket. If this is your first time here and you want to become better in darts, learn more about darts in general and get valuable tips and tricks, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss out on anything. Have a nice day and I'm gonna see you next time. Cheers!